Hello, and welcome to ANC Conversations. These last seven months have certainly taken its toll on our well-being. This week, we're talking to healthcare professionals from different fields to find out how we can take better care of ourselves, and more importantly, our little ones. I'm Marie Lozano. Join me for a bit of conversation. We have with us Judith Alma Acosta. She's a naturopathic practitioner, a, pr a pranic healer as well, and a yoga teacher. Hi, Judith. How are you? Hi, Marie, and thank you. I'm okay. Okay, well, naturopathy is new to me, and I'm sure our viewers also don't know what it is. So could, could you tell us all about naturopathy? Okay. Actually, naturopathy is actually an earliest known healing system. The naturopathic med medicine is a primary health care that encourages the body's self-healing process through the use of natural therapies, drawing on both traditional healing methods and medical science. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So, so it's basically naturopathy and naturopathic medicine. Okay. So when we talk about naturopathic medicine, what do, mm -hmm. what do you mean? Like, um, what are ways to heal with, when it comes to naturopathic medicine? It's basically going back to the nature. It's basically the healing, the healing power of nature. In naturopathy, we have what we call the seven natural doctors, which is Dr. San, Dr. Water, Dr. Air, Dr. Diet, Dr. Sleep, Dr. Exercise, and Dr. Energy. <laughs> These are what we usually and most of the time recommend to our patient when they come to us. We really make them become aware of the healing benefits of all this healing power of nature. But because after all, as I've said a while ago, naturopathy is the earliest known healing system. Way, yeah. way back in ancient time, these are what our ancestral has been using mm -hmm. the um, this kind of um, system, this naturopathy, the use of the healing power of nature. And there's a lot of backup research studies already about all of these seven natural doctors that proven to be a very effective way of, as a form of therapy. Yes. So how do you use natural solutions to address a health issue? Um, first, or like if I had a cold or a fever or what? what if it's naturopathy, how do I treat that? Instead of like just popping a pill, um, how do you first diagnose and how do you treat it? Well, we have what we call assessment in naturopathy with the use of iridology, iris. We look at the iris of the person. Through that, we can uh, determine already the, uh, the constitution of the health of the health of the person. We hope we have also another assessment tool that we call scrilology that we can definitely um, find the current condition of the of the person. So what's going on inside the body of the person. There's a lot of things, kinesiology and um, also energy medicine is a form of we can assess and determine the current condition of the person. And um, in fact, in naturopathy, Marie, it's not only the physical aspect that we are looking at in the person. When our patient comes to us, we look at our patient as a whole, meaning the integration of the body, mind, and spirit. So we really, we are trained and believe that the person may have manifested ailments or disease in the physical body. But this one, we are taught also to just not only treat the symptoms, but going to underlying cause. It's like uprooting the root cause of the disease of yeah. the person. Judith, how important is it that your patient is physically in front of you when you're doing um, the consultations? Because now everybody has... Um, you know, have has have moved into doing their consultations online. Mm -hmm. In your naturopathy, is it it's still okay to do it? Like, can I do a consultation with you right now in this setup? Yes. Um. Actually, we are on. Uh, we have that ongoing uh, online consultation for our patients and for those clients that who want to be, you know, become aware about they, how they can maintain um, good overall health system. So. 
basically we bring them back to the seven natural doctors and how is it possible to do that the key is when we teach because one of the core values of naturopathy is doctor or naturopaths are teachers also we educate our patients in the steps of achieving and maintaining health so therefore when we assist our patient we really journey with them it's like uh, teaching them to become aware of this healing power of nature like at a certain time what time you're supposed to go out and time that you should be exposed to the sun and when you see the signal on your body that it's enough already that you have absorbed this kind of light energy from the sun then it's okay you can go back to your house so sort of those things marie and then depending on the weight of the person, the height of the person, how many amount of water do you need to drink, and depending also the kind of lifestyle and activities of the person. So those are the things that we do with our patient. It's really bring them back to the nature, to the basic. Yes. Okay. So is, is a naturopathy a big practice here in the Philippines? I would say yes, because the fact that here in the Philippines, we have what we call the traditional medicine of Hilot, Helot is a movement and manipulation of the uh, in the body, which is under the umbrella of naturopathy. So yes, I would say that it's largely known in the Philippines and practice. Yes, it's just a matter of people is not really aware of the coin words naturopathy, but they have been using even the herbs. We are using these, like we have mga indigenous herbs that is under the umbrella of naturopathy. Yes. I like Helot, so I guess I've been practicing naturopathy without yes. even doing it. Yes, that's right. What inspired you to take up naturopathy? Um, and how, has you, I, as you said, you're also a teacher, but as a student, um, how is this experience like for you? I started after I gave birth to my son. That was about 13 years ago when I noticed when he was newborn, I kept bringing him to the hospital from a simple call then escalated to uh, the doctor would recommend that it needed that the lungs should be um, treated because there's something wrong and he has to be exposed to the x-ray machine at the very young, you know, newborn. So that's the time I it's a realization, Marie, that I have a full responsibility also for the health of my son. Of course, I respect the practice of allopathic medicine and means or mainstream medicine, but when it comes to lifestyle and maintaining good health, it's naturopathy. Let's talk about the question of um, alternative medicine. Of course, this is still a, a branch of medicine that some people are questioning. Um, mm -hmm. How do you respond to that? Um, you know, Marie, um, we can only do so much, yeah? We can, um, as much as possible, our practice as a naturopathy and naturopathic practitioner, we are using actually our platforms to share information, factful and insightful information about this kind of um, system. But um, it's, I, I will leave it to the people how they want to take it. It's up to them to experiment and to really experience the healing benefits of this. Mm -hmm. um, my role is to spread, to be of service to them, to, to make them become aware about it. Yes. So it's up to them. You cannot force or impose people to what you just believe in. You let yeah. them experience. What we can do is just share the information. <laughs> so that's how I take it. Okay. So Judith, since we're experiencing or we're in the middle of a health crisis right now, how can naturopathy help? Um, still, I would, um, same thing, I will encourage them to experience the healing power of nature. And um, like all of these seven natural doctors, then apart from this, like what I've said, naturopathy is not just about the physical form or aspect. You know, it is very, very important to make our, mind is healthy there's a lot of ways that we can all do that by medit naturopathy is um, meditation is under also the umbrella of this kind of practice in naturopathy you know mm -hmm. centering yourself is very very important and um, those are the things that i would say that it let's take in our own hands the responsibility for our own health and at this point in time i think that is very very important that 
by becoming aware and knowledgeable of what we can have access around us to make our overall health system to become really healthy is yes. our responsibility as an individual. Okay. So in the beginning of the pandemic, there were, um, you know, I guess, information spreading that there are certain types of alternative ways to deal with COVID. Um, mm -hmm. So there are a lot of misconceptions about it. How do you how do you respond to this when people say, oh, if you take this sort of herb or, or if you if you do this, then you will get COVID or you can heal COVID. What's your take on that? We're using our own platform to spread this kind of information. Um, the Philippine Institute of Naturopathic Sciences and the other organization I'm connected uh, with, which is the Pranic Healing, both of these, the PINs spreading the health and wellness awareness and the Pranic Healing energy awareness, these two heavily since uh, the start of pandemic, heavily exposing this kind of information to the public. And we are doing that actually. So a lot of positive response, but at the same time, as I've said a while ago, you can only do so much for people. There are people who will really message us, um, really question us about all of this. And uh, one thing that we always say to them is, um, have an open mind experiencing all of this because through that, that's you become more receptive to what you're looking for. What I'm saying, the nature that we have right now is readily available and accessible for us. This is a gift of nature to us. So why not maximizing it? If you notice, Marie, in the news also, uh, a lot of doctors would say, the number one thing to make sure that uh, we will not be contracted to COVID is to strengthen your immune system, right? Always yeah. say strengthen your immune system, but how, Marie? You know, that's always what we give, the how. Then yes. bring them back to the nature. What is natural is less toxicity. Judith, I just want to clear. Um, so you, you're not uh, advocating the use of um, naturopathy as a cure. You're just saying it can help boost the immune system. I am for more of balance. I am for naturopathy. One of the uh, principles of naturopathy is also prevention. Mm -hmm. So focus on overall wellness and disease prevention, more of integration of strengthening the immune system. So that's what we are promoting right now, the, uh, the kind of prevention. Why we have to wait for the cure if we can have an access and power to strengthen our immune system more definitely we have that in our within us we have that the power and our environment itself has it so why not maximizing all of this that we can to strengthen our immune system overall when i say overall it's the body mind and spirit general tips that you could give um in terms of how you can boost your immune system mm -hmm. through natural Okay, first and foremost, I would um, advise that they would really um, become mindful of their diet. Nutrition is very, very important, yeah? And then make sure that they have an adequate quality sleep because even how much you eat good food, all the supplements that you take in, if you have constant sleep deprivation, a matter of time, you're going to get sick, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then uh, going back always to the seven natural doctor that uh, um, Dr. Sun or Dr. Sunshine is a natural antidepressant. So nowadays, it's not only the physical form or physical aspect that we're looking at. We are becoming aware that since this pandemic, a lot of mental um, problem is, is occurring and rising right now. So it's good to get out and ex uh, expose yourself to the sun like for about five minutes and then mm -hmm. drink enough water, breath, um, breathe fresh air. Now, if you're saying I'm living in the city, I mean, of course, fresh air should be clean. What we always advise as closest to the nature, Marie, like put some indoor plants, you know, they are very, very good inside the house because they are emitting purifying air inside the house or diffuse some essential oils. If, you, if you're living in a condominium, bring nature to your house. That's what I always um, advise to my clients and patients. And of course, 
don't forget your exercise. Exercise is doesn't it doesn't have to be like um um heat or you know a moving thing, a simple stretching. Because when we move our body, our lymphatic system is being cleansed. We don't have a way that is one of our eliminatory system in our body that we don't have a way to eliminate toxins. But when we move our body through per and then we perspire, yes. we are cleansing our lymphatic system. So we avoid yung mga abnormal growth, yung mga unexplainable that all of a sudden there's a growth growing in your part of your body. So those are the simple things, simple but very powerful practice. So those okay. are my advice. It seems like uh, naturopathy is a very vast topic, and I, I don't think we will have enough time to discuss that. But thank you so much, Judith, for at least giving us an introduction to naturopathy, and we will definitely try to learn more about it. Thank Thanks you for very your time. much, Marie. Thank you. Thank you so much. Whether it be mental or physical health, there's not one universal remedy. As the experts say, the way to better take care of ourselves is by listening to what our body and mind truly need. And finding a solution that really works for you, whether it's in keeping your mental functions engaged, looking at your surroundings to find natural remedies, or making a few tweaks to your daily lifestyle. But of course, as with all practices, these remedies will only work if you are truly committed to improving yourself and the lives of your loved ones. And that's all for this episode of ANC Conversations. I'm Marie Lozano. Thank you for watching.